expected. It'd have to be a bloody tsunami, wouldn't it? That or a king tide. The chain of causation could be endless. How far back do you go? Do you charge Cooper's mother for giving birth to him? Not a bad idea. The footage shows him being chased towards the water. And Cooper deliberately blocked his escape route back to the safety of the club. But is there enough of a link between Cooper's conduct and the death to make it murder? Maybe not. You might have to concede to manslaughter. I can't. Ben... Oh, would you stop thinking about Ben and look at the evidence? That's your job. Why did I ever think I could do this? Oh, you're such a drama queen. You made a telescopic mistake. It happens to people in high-pressure situations, like doctors and pilots. What, what is that? I hate it when you diagnose me. Blinkered vision. It's when you become so focused on one aspect of the problem that you lose sight of the whole big picture. <laughs> Come on. Dr. Tatum says there's only one solution. Put causation aside. Focus on foreseeability. Cooper's intent to kill. I can't see intent to kill. Then look for GBH or reckless indifference. You probably want something strapless to accentuate your shoulders. Men's rare. Men's rare. No, no, the, the, the flounce is too distracting. Think, think elegant. Clean lines with plenty of movement in the skirt. Everyone knows the tide comes in, but where's the evidence Cooper did on that particular night? Are you thinking veil? Oh, tape. Playboy Mansion? Do you have anything like a sweetheart neckline with a ballerina hem? I have sisters. I can't tell with this thing on. Can you hold that? Better. Uh, it's, it's Con. Can you answer it? Hi, Con, it's Richard. Richard, can you just tell her that I'll be home at about six? Yeah, I'll tell her. Richard, can you pass me my bra? Bye, Con. I have to get back to the office. Get excited. I'm not going if Aaron's going. I'm not going if Richard's going. <sighs> Fine. We won't invite Aaron and Richard to the playground. For the record, Richard has been killing himself on your grandfather's case. And Aaron didn't ask for that brief. It was given to her by Finchface. Now, come on. No, I don't want to go, Tatum. I feel like crap. That's why I'm rescuing you. It's happy hour. Yes, happy hour. I need happy hour. Sex. Yeah, she has. What? What? Who? When? Atticus the Finch. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure that's anatomically impossible. Hey, it's not the size of the pecker. It's how you pump. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there. Hottest woman in the office. Judge's associate, Julia. Mm. Oh, sh shit. Dinner. I forgot. I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm grieving. That's what I'm doing here. I'm grieving. Look, this is my grieving face. Ready? <laughs> Have a good night, Ben. Hey, Julie, wait, Julie, wait, wait, wait. Hobby. Have a good night. Did you keep your clothes on? What? Did you get your bra back all right? Oh, no, we were shopping. Yeah, right. We worked together. And now he lives here? He was homeless. Okay, you go out drinking with him. You spend every minute with him. You didn't make me banana bread. You hate bananas. I know, he's in Mensa or some shit. Oh, but you baby, will you stop, he's gay. He's gay. <laughs> oh. Well. Okay. And this should be granted.
Not unless we want the drug squad to order a hit on us and all our families. Well, the evidence isn't strong, and Hamill's got some rare terminal disease, apparently. He might croak before we get a conviction. And we need to tread carefully in the current climate. I well, wouldn't want to be seen as going soft on a scumbag drug lord. Just thought I'd run it past you. What's he got? Hamill has fallen from a tree. Wait a minute. He's fallen from a tree. Um, that can be fatal. Many things can be fatal, Tatum. 